Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. Happy Chinese New Year. Yes, today is the Chinese New Year and to celebrate we're going to take a look and a small focus at some shoes made in China. So the first ones we're going to look at are a, is a whole cut Oxford coming out of Meermen. Now this, these are all hand welted, but this happens to have a Norvegese chain stitch right on the edge here. Very nice looking one. And uh, this is made with uh, a natra calf. Um, so it is calf, has beautiful depoy lining, um, and just a very, very beautiful shoe, and um, has beautiful JR soles. Just a, a great, great shoe. One of the best hand welted uh, values out on the market today at uh, just a little bit uh, over $400. Great shoe. Okay. Now the next one we're going to look at is also from Meerman. This also has the same Norvegi stitch on it. And this is a Utah calf um, split toe derby. And um, has uh, just a beautiful stitch work here done on the apron. Nice reverse toe. Um, same soles as the other. Um, now these are these are both uh, this is a custom one the other one is kind of off the rack if you will right so just a standard ready to wear beautiful shoes um, just great great uh, materials and uh, great economical value now we're gonna move from Meerman and we're gonna move to um, another company this is out of Singapore uh, uh, but they make uh, Mallorca, uh sorry. Meerman is out of Spain, but they make the shoes in Shanghai. Um, this is Yosal, and they are out of Singapore, but they make the shoes in China. Uh, I'm not really sure on the city in China. I just know that it is in China. And um, these are just an absolutely beautiful hatch grain split toe. You can see if you look at the aprons compared to each other, the apron is absolutely next level. And um, the hatch grain is also absolutely top notch. Now this is hand welted. It has a, a nice metal toe tip, but take a look at that apron. This is where it's at. I love that apron. It's really, really nice. Okay. A beautiful shoe all the way around. This one actually has a tapered heel as is custom in Asia. Okay. Now, when you look at the sole, this has a fiddle back waist, a very narrow waist, and it is a tapered waist as well. So it's thicker here than it is here. Okay? They call that a, um, a Parisian waist as well. So just a beautiful shoe. Uh, they do a really nice job with it over at Yoso. Now, moving on from that, we have this pair. This is an Adelaide, a wingtip Adelaide. And this is through the Sons of Henry, October 10th collaboration. This is the OT for October 10th, 15. Uh, beautiful, um, beautiful shoe in this cognac calf, also hand welted. Um, you can see it's just extremely clean, a very, very sharp burnish on it. Also with the tapered heel. Okay. You look at the sole. Very, very similar sole, although it's painted differently. And again, just, just great quality, great taper there on the edge to the, to the waist, and uh, a wonderful shoe. Uh, definitely um, one of, of my more comfortable Adelaides. Really do like it, and hand-welted Adelaides are not as common uh, for in my collection. I have some, but not, not, not that many. Um, and here, this is a split toe, also from the October 10th Sons of Henry collaboration. This is the OT1. 
And this is one that I actually had made up a little different. Instead of just doing a single type of material, and you know I like my textures, I actually had this done in a Janus suede. So this is just a reversed piece of, of leather in with the suede showing instead of the um, smooth side showing. Um, also full grain, just absolutely gorgeous. Really love the way that this came together. And you can see they also did a nice job here. The apron is very clean. The toe stitch is also very cool. And then we take a look at that sole. Just like the other, except that the heel is no longer tapered. So this is a straight heel. Okay. So a little bit different um, and certainly a very different shoe than the Adelaide, uh, but that's there. So those are... October 10th are going to run about 610 bucks. Uh, the um, uh, uh, between 570 and 610, the um, uh, Yosols are around the same. These are around between 420 and 500, depending on on the makeup. And that's when we start getting into the really really high end side of shoes made in China. And this is an Acme William X. Uh, a much, much higher end shoe. Let's take a look at what we looked at before. Let's look at this apron. Now, when you look at the apron, it is very, very clean and it has a very, very subtle stitch. You can barely feel the stitching, but if you look really carefully, you can see it. You can see each tension mark. It's just really, really well done. Uh, you look at the toe. That, that skin stitch is almost invisible. Really cool. You can see the waves, but not the line. Okay, Top quality craftsmanship. Now this also has a Norwegian welt, but this is 180 degrees and a very, very different style. Very clean. Okay. Just uh, absolutely beautiful. Take a look at the heel. Very clean. One of the cool things that you'll notice about very, very high-end shoes is you can actually feel the difference between the depth of a seam here and the seam here and the rest of the shoe. When you're looking at um, like a Meerman, this is almost a whole piece of leather, right? The skiving or when they actually shave down the edge is very, very um, almost non-existent on the Meerman, but on the Acme, it's just exceptionally well done. Okay? This is about a millimeter thick. It's very, very, very clean. Now we look at the sole. Also there's a straight sole. Okay? And just really nice. Now, one of the things that you'll also notice about this is that it has an incredibly high arch. Okay? And you, I took pictures of this when I was walking in the snow, and you could see two distinct steps um, in pretty deep snow, and that's because the arch is so good on this particular shoe. So, very, very excited to have this as part of my collection. Acme's are going to run uh, between seventeen hundred and two thousand um, dollars, so they're they're quite a bit more expensive, uh, but uh, absolutely top, world class craft some ship coming out of China. So that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day.